Documentary filmmaking is a great way to build bridges. Documentary filmmakers get to create and capture meaningful connections with real people and real communities. They share stories of inspiration with the world through film so that we can learn from each other and become better human beings. My name is Saira Rahman, and this is my sister Nilifar Rahman. We're working on our first feature documentary film called Arctic Mosque. It's a remarkable story about a little mosque that was built in Winnipeg and shipped 4,000 kilometers across Canada by road and river to the small Arctic town of Inuvik, Northwest Territories. Inuvik is a vibrant, prosperous, and quite diverse municipality of 3,500 people where everyone we talk to says it's like living with a big family. It is home to some of the oldest cultures in the world, the Inuvialuit and the Gwich'in First Nations. Hamid is a Muslim who immigrated to Inuvik from the Sudan, going from plus 40 degree desert heat to the minus 40 degree cold of the Arctic desert. I love it here, he told us. Really? He loves the land. And he said that he especially enjoys learning from the Inuvialuit and Gwich'in elders, his adopted grandmothers, or Nanaks and Jujuts, as he calls them. Hamid formed a deep connection with them because they remind him of the family-oriented culture he left behind in the Sudan. It can be tricky making people feel comfortable in front of the camera. The 80 to 100 Muslims in town were easy to relate to for Nil and me since we shared the same faith but it was at times more challenging to interview some of their neighbors. Rana is one of the Muslims we interviewed. I remember asking her classmates if they would allow us to film them. They hesitated. In steps Sean Peranto, our cameraman of Strong Front AV Productions, who like a lot of cameramen can be intimidating with his big Sony camera and shotgun mic ready to shoot anything that moves. I've had an amazing journey following the mosque, and I'm learning a lot about Muslims and their culture, he announced. Aren't you Muslim too? They asked. No, I'm Ojibwe Cree, he said with pride. Really? They smiled with delight. If you're part of this project, we agree to be filmed. And it was as simple as that. They felt comfortable with Sean. Sure, he's an easygoing, uh, li likable guy, but it was obvious that it was their shared Aboriginal heritage that put them at ease. Sean helped us to make a connection, and although he said he learned a lot about our faith and community, the exchange was mutual. We feel enriched by knowing him and the cultures and people he connected us with. On our journey towards building love between people and communities, we need to begin by building many, many smaller bridges like this one. By the end of our five-week visit, we all made lifelong friends. Film allows us to document instances of bridge building in the past and the present. While we were in Inuvik, it happened to be the 50th anniversary of Our Lady of Victory Church. Abdullah, a prominent Muslim businessman, told us that years before the old trailer mosque existed, and when there was no other space large enough in town, Muslims used to perform Friday prayers in the church. Hmm, a mosque in a church. That sounds familiar. We witnessed the church celebrate 50 years on the dawning of the Midnight Sun Mosque, small bridges built in the past. By the way, if you're wondering um, how the minaret for the mosque cake was made, it was marshmallows. <laughs> Nil and I presented a slideshow of the mosque's journey to the community. I had never seen so many people, especially men, cry out of sheer joy. I think it really hit them. The story of the mosque is perhaps the most well-documented mosque in Canada. The goodwill that surrounded this event resonated with people from all over the world. And I wonder if they and the man behind this amazingly innovative project Hussein Gisti realized the significance of this mosque in bringing people together. This mosque had made a journey, a hajj, a pilgrimage, not to Mecca, but to them. 
It saw the whole country, and the whole country embraced it with open arms. That's a huge connection, a huge bridge. We hope to complete the documentary this summer. So if you would like to support the film, please visit our website, snowangelfilms.com, and feel free to spread the word. Last but certainly not least, we would like to acknowledge our co-producer and mentor from Buffalo Gal Pictures, Joanne Levy, and also Dr. Hussein Gisti and his wife, Dr. Susan Ghazali, and their children who join us here tonight. Hussein and Susan are the founders of the Zubaydah Taleb Foundation, a Canadian charity that the Midnight Sun Mosque, that made the Midnight Sun Mosque possible. It was Hussein who emailed and asked us if we were interested in making a documentary film on the mosque. We had only two days to decide and prepare before the mosque left Winnipeg on September 1st, 2010. Normally, preparing for a film or a pre-production takes months, if not years. Yet somehow, we felt ready. The topic was more than familiar to us because we grew up in a mosque community ourselves. We really feel that working on Arctic Mosque as our first feature film was, was perfect, and we're grateful to Allah, to God, for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hussein, we want to truly thank you for involving us in this incredible journey. Now we would like to invite you to sit back and enjoy the teaser trailer of Arctic Mosque, created by Snow Angel Films and Elemental Motion Media. When I live in Syria, I read about the Arctic. I can't believe it how the people live here, but now I live here. They come from all different parts of the world and they're no different from anybody else. We used to go in a small trailer. The women had little space and the men had maybe double the space. If we change it up, we'll have a better place to pray in and a better place to worship. It's a big deal in uh, Nubik, but there's about a hundred Muslims there, and it's getting their church, and I think it's a wonderful thing for them. I'm gonna try to get around this this mosque, and gonna meet you on the other side because I really don't know how you're gonna get it across. <laughs> this is the time that history is being made right now. This is what we've been waiting for, what we've been planning for 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 a while now. This is it. Whenever something happens in the small town, everybody knows about it. The mosque is coming! The mosque is coming! <laughs> we thank the media for giving us so much attention, for having the furthest mosque up north, baby. This is where it's happening, right here.